Well, this is going to be the first of, I don't know how many, uh, what I call during the week videos. Just a short five or 10 minute video. Just uh, stuff I'm doing around the house, you know, stuff I've been putting off. Well, this right here is one of them. This chainsaw is possibly the most aggravating chainsaw I've ever had, other than a Poland uh, leaf blower I had. It is in pieces now in the landfill. That's how aggravating it was. But anyway, what it does is it just, I mean, fills up with gas when it's just sitting there on the shelf. And I don't know why it does it. The only thing I know to do is take the spark plug out, turn it upside down, leave it for a day or two and let all the gas run out. And then most of the time it'll fire right up. So let me get the plug back in it and get all this back together. Let's see if it'll run. Then I can go do the job that I need to do. All right, it's back together. And I pulled the gas cap off and the gas tank's empty. It was full. I don't know what is causing it, but it's like something is siphoning the, all the gas out of the tank. I might need to check the vent on uh, the gas cap. If it's not working, I guess it could pressurize and then it's gonna push the gas out. It'll be full of gas and you have to take spark plug out, turn it upside down. Just let it sit there and drain for a day or two and then it'll run again until you let it set up and it's the same thing all over again. And both of them that's done it to me, they're both Polands. Anyway, it just occurred to me that uh, this is starting out to be a will it run for a chainsaw. So let's see if it'll run. All right, I'm gonna try to start this without any choke, just in case there's a bunch of gas until it. So let's see what happens. <laughs> I can already smell the gas. I bet you if I take spark plug out, it'll be soaking wet. Just as I suspected, well, if I can get it focused. See all that shiny on it? It's plum soaked with gas. I don't know why. I don't have a clue why. So I guess this video might be, uh, will it run for a chainsaw? Let me tear into it and just see what I can figure out. Let's do the usual, make sure we're getting spark. It's getting spark. I don't know if the video's picking it up. So I don't know what's wrong with it. All righty, I'm gonna pump it up a little bit. Let's see if it'll start. No starty, no starty. Y'all wanna see something cool? Don't try this at home. It's still flooded. I think what I'll do is uh, fire the air compressor up, shove it down in there, and just blow it out for about 10 minutes. Maybe we'll get all the fuel out eventually. Alrighty, I got the carbon roster off of it so I can get my air nozzle down in there. Let's blow some air down the crankcase, see if we can't clear it out. Oh, dang. You see all that gas coming out of there? Watch that. Look at that. If that ain't flooded, I don't know what it is. Let me see if I can get it blowed out and I'll be right back. Well, I got everything blowed out that I could. This carburetor, I don't understand it. This is the actual carburetor. What this little butterfly in this doodad, I don't know. This just runs down. And I don't know. I don't understand it. Anyway, there was a bunch of gas that come out of that. I blowed everything out, got it back together. Also, here's a little tip if you're gonna be working on a small engine and have the cover off, whether it's lawnmower, chainsaw, whatever. This cover serves the purpose. This cover right here, it serves the purpose. This flywheel is not only the flywheel, it's also a blower fan. That's what blows air across that cylinder and cools it. If you don't have that cover on it, well, the air ain't gonna go across that and you're gonna burn it up if you run it very long without it. So just remember that. All right, let's try it again. I'm not gonna push the primer bulb and the choke is off. Oh, looky here. I had the brake on. <laughs> I got it back together. I got the chain tightened too. I didn't uh, sharpen the chain because what we're about to do is probably gonna ruin that chain, so I don't care. 
you might be wondering, well, why don't you just go buy you a good steel, Husqvarna, something? Well, I don't do enough chainsawing to spend that kind of money on a saw. I ain't even priced them. They, you know, they may be affordable. I don't know. I've had this in about 15 years, though. It was a Christmas present. In the first 10 years or so, it was a wonderful saw. But for some reason, the last five, well, if it keeps on, it's going to be in the landfill in a million pieces where that leaf blower went. And I ain't even kidding you. I beat that leaf blower till there was nothing left of it. And <laughs> put it in the trash can and threw it away. That's how aggravated it made me. Anyway, let me walk you out here and show you what we're going to be doing with this chainsaw. This is what I need to use the chainsaw on. This is Daddy's garden spot. And as some of you might know, he passed away a couple years ago. So this is not being used as a garden anymore. I'm not in the garden. My brother is, I'm not. So Mama wants me to clean this up and turn it back in the yard. So that's what I'm going to do. The reason I need a chainsaw, he's got it lined with telephone poles. See one right there. And the reason he did it is sort of a raised bed. He put sand in the bottom and then I don't know what all he put in it. Uh, horse manure, there's a barn right through the woods there. He'd get the horse manure from that guy and put in here. Just a little bit of everything. And so it's raised up some. So I got to cut the poles into manageable sizes and then uh, take the front end loader and scoop some of this dirt out. And I'm probably going to put it right right in that area that was another garden spot we raised taters there we didn't do it this year there we did it out there let me zoom in did it right in that area there they ain't turning out very good either but uh anyway let me get started getting all this cleared out i'm gonna start with the cutting them poles up Dang old Chris old pole is ruining the chain on my chainsaw. I can't saw two minutes and then I need to sharpen again. And my file is shot. It won't sharpen nothing. So instead of having to run to town right now to get a new file and or a new chain, I think we'll jump on the tractor and we'll just start scooping dirt.
Well, she wouldn't dig, fellas. I was just digging down in the yard there. So I decided just to scrape it back. Maybe I can scoop that up. It's, it's a lot more there than you can really see on this video. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna see if I can't uh, scoop this stuff up, move it out. Well, I'm definitely not a heavy equipment operator, as you can see, but I got it knocked down pretty good. That vegetation right in there, that really makes it hard to scoop. I reckon I might have to get a shovel, because that, that right there literally is nothing but grass and weeds, and uh, I can't hardly scoop. I got a hump right here still a little bit, and then a valley right here, so I need to move this over here. Other than that, it's pretty smooth. Uh, I might get in here with a disc or a tiller and till it up and that'll help smooth it out a lot and then uh, might even get the box blade in here because uh, the hydraulics on that tractor are really really slow and you just can't hardly make that bucket move fast enough to spread the dirt uh, you know smooth it out I think what I might do now is if I don't scoop that grass up just start dragging it back this way and uh, maybe smooth some of these humps and valleys out. We'll just have to see how it looks. That's all that darn vegetation right there you can't do nothing with. So I'm gonna go get the shovel. We're gonna shovel it in there and take it over yonder. It's looking pretty good, except for right in this area here. I got a couple of dips. So I may go up there and drag this back. And may pull some right there in the middle. There's a small hump. Pull it over here too. But it's looking pretty good so far.
there's some of that vegetation. It's just, it makes it very, very difficult to work with. Well, that's about as level as I can get it with the equipment I'm using and my skill level. I think what I might do, I did it out there on the tater patch a couple years ago. Uh, till it up real good and then run over it with a box blade. I can work a box blade better than I can a front bucket, especially when I don't know when my bucket's level, I need to put a level indicator on it. But anyway, I think that's what I'll do, but we're about to run out of daylight. So I guess tomorrow I'll go to town and get a file for the uh, saw. Might pick up a chain too, and then we may till this and uh, box blade it. Well, it's two days later. Yesterday was Sunday. Sunday's a day of rest, so I rested. I got a file and got the chain sharpened, so let's see if we can cut this log up into little pieces. Think it'll start? Let's see. No choke. Well, so far no good. is flooded well it was flooded spark plug had uh, gas all over it. and it would start with the cover off wouldn't start with the cover on well when I take the cover off I take the air filter off too because I don't want it falling off so I thought maybe that air filter stopped up so I took it out put it all back together wouldn't start took the cover back off got to looking I don't know if you can see it or not see them two wires right there see how they're almost cut in two well they're getting mashed let me get something they're getting mashed right there but that's plastic so that's not shortening it out so apparently they're shorting out against each other and i don't see anywhere for them to be routed even in this cover right here so i don't know i'm gonna cut this out for them and maybe that'll solve the problem all right i made a little cut out right there for the wires and i taped them up let's put the cover on see if it starts Fired up first pull. Let's go cut some logs. out of breath and that little saw right there i'm telling you if it keeps on it's going to be in the landfill it won't half run i've adjusted it every way you can i just barely got them cut let me get the tractor and load them up in front end loader and i still got to cut this one over here too Well, I got all the logs up. I got the tiller on the back of the tractor. I'm gonna try to get this till for we run out of daylight. Uh, the tiller is too small for the tractor. It needs to be at least a six foot. So I'm just, you know, stopping you before you tell me I need a bigger tiller.
Well, it's almost dark and I can't hardly see. I did grab a big old hunk of grass right here. And then it made a valley all the way down. And I think there's a valley there. So I told y'all I can't run a front end loader very good. So I think tomorrow I'll uh, put the box blade on it and go over it. I can do a lot better with the box blade. And also, let me show you this on that tiller. As you can see, the tiller is way too narrow for the tractor. It won't even take out the tire tracks. Plus, this uh, lift arm, lower lift arm down here, hits this bolt right here. It sits on top of it sometimes. It won't let that tiller go all the way down. And it's extremely aggravating. You gotta sit there and work it up and down until it finally goes past that bolt. I need a six foot tiller. Well, I got my little box blade on. I guess I'll drag this, try to smooth it out and grab some of these big old hunks of dirt, try to pull them back in. Then I'm probably wasting my time, but I'm gonna throw a little Kentucky 31 on it. It's done got too late really to sow a yard. Really need to do it after September 15th around here, but I'm gonna put a little bit on it anyway. Well, the old tractor won't start. I don't know if it's the battery gone bad or if it just ain't charging. I'm gonna put my little jump box on it and uh, get it started, and then we'll put the meter on it and see what it's doing. You come here right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't reach it. Oh, oh, oh. Well, at idle, it's putting out about 13 and a half volts. Well, you rev it up, and it's putting out about 12.9 volts. I ought to change it over to a one wire alternator, and I might do that eventually. I did pretty good. Leveled it out quite a bit. And I drug a bunch of old grass up here on the end. You can't really tell it on the video though. But I'm gonna take a pitchfork and see if I can't get the grass out of there, throw it in the bucket, and then rake that dirt back and smooth it out with a rake. much like work. I don't like this. I got all the grass out of it that I could. There's quite a bit of grass in that bucket there. I'm going to drag it back this way now. And I think I'll be done and be ready to put a little bit of seed on it. Well, that's about as goodly as I can get it. I'm tired of fooling with it, to be honest. It's pretty level. I guess the only thing left to do is empty the bucket on the tractor, sling a little seed, and then wait for the rain.
Well, there it is. I'm finally done with it. Got the seed on the ground. I wish I had a masher downer to mash some seeds in the dirt, but I don't have one, so that'll have to do. I think it's supposed to rain a little bit tomorrow. Hopefully it does. But uh, I am no expert. If I had to do landscaping for a living, I'd probably starve to death. I'd be a lot skinnier than what I am now. Anyway, there it is. Also, this tank right here, it's a 500-gallon propane tank. Daddy put his used oil in. Well, I think I'm going to drain it and take it to my house. That'll be a very good storage tank. A lot better than those uh, plastic totes. I'm afraid that they're going to dry rot eventually. And 270 gallons of oil on the ground, that ain't going to be good. So I'm going to take this to my house, and that's what I'm going to store the bulk of it in. Well, there's the first middle of the week video. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you didn't like it. It's going to be a little bit longer than five or ten minutes. Maybe the next one won't be as long, or maybe y'all want them longer. Let me know. Until the next time, though, peace.